What is happening guys, Junius Tech here back with another video. So, I said in my previous video, obviously I apologise for the fact that I've been late in the past 4 or 5 weeks, but I did say I was going to do 3 giveaways. One was going to be a pair of headphones, one was going to be a random keyboard of my choice, and then the other one was going to be a £100 Amazon gift card. Well, the video I did, the previous video I did about the headphones, that is going to be the headphone giveaway. But I'm not going to be doing the video yet, so make sure you subscribe and the notification bell. But the keyboard I'm actually going to be giving away is this one. So this is the, I don't know if you can see that. But this is the Sender 7 Color Backlit Wireless Keyboard from Sender. So this is actually the one I'm going to be giving away. So we're going to do an unboxing review. I'm going to show you how it works. Show you why I actually wanted to review this one. And we're pretty much going to go from there. But as always, we kind of need to go to the ceiling so you can actually see what I'm doing. So, let's do that. So guys, here we are on the ceiling as always. Now, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the Sender 7 Color Backlit Wireless Keyboard. Now, this is, uh, this is able to work with all Windows, Mac, Linux, you name it. It's compatible with them all. So the good thing I like this is that it's actually the Bluetooth version 5.1. Now the headphones I did the other day, which were the Bluetooth version 5.2. So it's good to see that a keyboard that has the capability of anything higher than 5.0. Because I haven't done a keyboard that's actually higher than 5.0. So it's quite nice. So I'm going to be taking a look at this with you guys. I haven't actually yet to look at this myself. So we're going to be unboxing this together. Right, I have to admit, I have never received a keyboard with this month's packaging. It's always been a flimsy box. And that is extremely solid foam. So, first of all, as always, what you get with normal products, you get a user manual. Now, this is in multiple different languages, pretty much telling you how to use the Bluetooth function on this guy. So, I'm going to get this out of the packaging. First of all, I will have to say these obviously are not mechanical switches. These are what you call scissor switches. So, these are like the jelly cone one I did not that long ago. And I have to admit, this is very nice. It's, it's very heavy as well. Like, that weighs a lot. And the good thing is, it is USB Type-C. Now, that is one thing I do like. I haven't yet to have a wireless keyboard that is run off USB Type-C. And that is beautiful. That really is a lush keyboard. So, it is. I think it's a, a, a light alloy on the top. And on the rear is a softer plastic, but that is very nice. I'm actually really surprised. Wow. Well, that is amazing. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you through the Bluetooth connectivity because this is where a lot of people tend to struggle. So we need to go over to this side of the keyboard. So what we need to do is actually go through this. So I'm going to quickly show you how this connects up and we're going to take a look. Actually... We're going to go through the specifications first, and then I'm going to show you how to connect it. So let's go. So guys, we're going to be talking about the features of the Sender 7 Color Backlit Wireless Keyboard. Now, yes, this is a backlit wireless keyboard from Sender. Some of the quick features are the Bluetooth 5.1 multi-device rechargeable wireless keyboard. It is a full size, it is slim, and it is very compatible. It allows you to be able to use it with your Mac, laptop, Windows 10, Android, and even Apple devices. So they have upgraded their Bluetooth version from their previous model up to 5.1 technology. It's more stable connection uh, when typing. It allows you to enjoy a smooth and precise wireless control. So it can support up to multiple devices to connect and allows for four channel Bluetooth, easily pair, easily to switch throughout all these devices with a simple button at the click. The wireless keyboard can be easily switched between seven different colors and also three levels of adjustable brightness. So this keyboard is extremely comfortable to use. They have a 12 degree till which is ergonomically designed and allows for a low profile keystrokes, providing more quiet, comfortable and precise typing experience. So this keyboard does come equipped with scissor switches, which does allow for a quieter touch. The rechargeable keyboard as well has a built in 2000 milliamp lithium ion battery. A full charge will last for around about five days, uh, backlight on and up to 30 days without the backlight on this will also meet the needs of daily work and also if you need to take this keyboard on the go with you you don't have to lug around cables or chargers when necessary 
So like I said about the colours, yes, it does come with seven adjustable brightnesses. You've got light blue, green, yellow, white, purple, red, and also a dark blue. So the colours there will meet anyone's satisfaction and need. So guys, there you go. So that was the specifications. And now what I'm going to do is actually show you how to connect this puppy up. So as you can see on the top bar here, we've got uh, a Bluetooth sign, one, two, three, and four. Now, that's pretty much how you connect this guy to Bluetooth. So I'm going to dim the lights in a second so you can see the colours a bit better. So we'll do that now. So what I'm going to do here is actually go through the process of how you actually connect this to a Bluetooth source. So first of all, what you need to do is plug it in. And on the rear, you'll be able to see, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get close to that. There's just a little button there. Simple on off button going on right there. So that's pretty much just telling you, obviously, to turn it on. And then you've got an indicator in the corner there, a little red light that just tells me that I'm charging it. And then if it was running out of battery, the one to the left, which is the lower battery sign, would start flashing, tell me I need to charge this guy. So what we need to do is I need to teach you how to connect it. So all you've got to start off first is by holding the FN button, the function button, and then selecting either Bluetooth version 1, 2, 3, or 4. So hold an FN, then click on 1. And as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see it very well. Did you see it flash? I'll try again. There you go. You see the little blue icon. So that means I've selected Bluetooth version point one. Uh, that means I have selected Bluetooth number one. So I'm actually going. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to connect this to my phone just to give you a rough idea of what's going to happen. So from here, so we've selected Bluetooth version point one. So that's the source it's going to track to. So if I hold that one down for three seconds, it'll start flashing, which means it's trying to pair with whatever device I need it to. So I'll hold it down for one, two, three. And there we go. The Bluetooth is now flashing on and off. And then that is in pairing mode. So I'll turn the Bluetooth onto my phone. And then it should give me Bluetooth version 5.1 keyboard and all I do simply is click on that it'll start pairing and it'll be connected so it is now fully connected and I'm going to pretty much show you so if I tilt that that way so I'm just going to be like hello guys this is the next giveaway enjoy and simple as that guys it really did connect but the good thing about this is that I can connect it to a total of four different devices so like I was saying before with the Bluetooth version 1, 2, 3, and 4, if I want to connect this to another device, all I need to do is hold down FN, click on 2, number 2 is now selected, and then all I need to do is hold down number 2 for about 3 seconds. As soon as it starts flashing, connect it to another device, and it really is as easy as that. So guys, um, remember Theo? Hi buddy. Did you want to say hello to anything to my fans? No? You not want to say anything? No? Look, who's that? Who's over there? No? He didn't want to say much. Sorry. <laughs> but there we go, guys. So, yes, we've seen Theodore and we've seen the keyboard. Now, yes, we went through some of the specifications to tell you, you know, pretty much the, the what what's going on with this. But I was actually really surprised. So the one I did a while ago, which was the Jellycomb one, yes, it was a nice keyboard. Um... It really was, but this really is a big step up. So even the frame in itself, uh, the scissor switches sound perfectly and they're very responsive. You don't get a, a, a lot of stick. As soon as you press it, it's bouncing back straight up. The build design and the quality alone is unbelievable. So I think it's it's like an alloy uh, metal on the top. They went for like a, a charcoal uh, gun grey and it really is a beautiful colour. I'm not sure if they do this in any other colours. Uh, but I know they do, uh, the backlight obviously changes colours like, like we went through on the specifications. But I have to admit, it really is a nice keyboard. Especially if you want to go for something flat, minimalistic, no cables or anything like that. You know, like the mechanical keyboard, that, that might be not something you want to go down. Because that's an ADX Ultimate Gaming keyboard. And they are very, they are very loud. If you want to go for something a lot sleeker, a lot more minimalistic definitely definitely go for one of these now links will be in the description for where you can find one of these if you want to take a look for yourself but for the price that you're going to be paying for something like this is unbelievable because everybody's working at home now i've got my two monitors i've got my ipad and my phone so now i can attach i can connect this up to my phone my ipad and my computer all in the same time then if i need to switch all i need to do is simply press fn and then one two three or four 
and there we go I'm automatically typing onto another screen now to me that is so much more easier than having to unplug it plug it back in unplug it plug it back in or using the touch screen when I don't want to so this really is is going to fix a lot of problems going on especially within home offices and all that good stuff so definitely recommend getting this links will be in the description if you want to check them out for yourself and as i said i am also going to be giving one of these away that video will come soon so don't worry and make sure you stay tuned and the only way you can find out about the giveaways is if you subscribe and hit the notification bell towards this channel so you can find them out and as always thanks very much for watching guys i am junius tech and i will catch you on the next video peace